It is one of the most ecologically rich places on Earth and harbors the highest diversity of mammals in the United States and the second highest in the world. In southern Arizona, the San Pedro River flows north from Mexico across the U.S. border, and with it flows a stunning variety of life. The San Pedro riparian corridor is such a, a huge influence on migratory patterns for all kinds of animals, but especially birds, for the entire continental in the United States, that it, it's a very precious place. Nearly half of the 800 bird species that exist in North America either inhabit or migrate through the San Pedro River. We have people that fly from all over the world and knowing that we're going to have a particular species here for one or two days and they actually come in just to see that species and then fly back to wherever they're from. It's one of their bucket list choices that they do. Much of the San Pedro was designated America's first riparian national conservation area in 1988. Still, the river has been shrinking. Drought, but primarily depletion of the river's main source, is threatening the river's existence. Like many desert rivers, the San Pedro has lost a good deal of its flow because the groundwater pumping in the area has drawn down the water table. Expanding industry and development in nearby Sierra Vista and the Fort Huachuca Army installation are the biggest users of water in the region. As more water is pumped from underground, less water makes it to the river itself. Results of a shrinking river are now beginning to appear. The cottonwoods, which provide shelter for animals and for the birds, they're beginning to die off as you get further and further away from the river. And once that goes, the entire ecosystem collapses. Along with a diminishing water supply, Laws designed to protect the river's many threatened and endangered species, and by extension the San Pedro itself, were recently relaxed for the sake of local industry. A couple of uh, members of Congress got together and decided that they would just change the law and provide an exemption for Fort Huachuca, basically just carve out an exemption from the Endangered Species Act. Uh, and it was really kind of unprecedented. It, it was a terrible precedent to set. The Renzi Rider, as the legislation is called, exempts Fort Huachuca and the surrounding community of Sierra Vista from the requirements of the Endangered Species Act. In this case, the law would have guaranteed enough water in the San Pedro for the survival of its endangered species. Activists hope to reverse the exemption, but for now, without laws that would ensure adequate water flow. Community members are doing what they can to preserve this disappearing natural resource. What we really do mainly is try to educate the general public to recognize how important this place is, not just because it's pretty, but because it's also what we call a corridor of life. This is a living creature that we're looking at, the river itself. This whole biome, this whole area here, allows people to take away a sense of accomplishment, allows people to take away a sense of nature, which is literally in their backyard. For This American Land, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.